Hi there! Uh, this is going to be a different type of video. I'm going to spend some time on the Bash shell. Uh, as some of you may know, Bash shell supports a scripting language that is not a full-fledged language, but it is really, really useful for um, daily tasks uh, related to text manipulation. A big part of our job is when we handle uh, textual data uh, and files in general is to be able to rapidly create new files, modify them or create new directories or folders if you like and be able to navigate through the uh, file system. Bash is notorious for this kind of stuff. So I will just show you a couple of functions that I created and I use every day and I included all of these in my .bus RC um, file so that every time a new shell uh, starts uh, these functions are loaded and let's see what these functions do. So uh, the first function is the function mkcd and what this function does is simply that it creates a new directory and then it moves to that directory so um, that newly created directory becomes the new working directory so uh, let's create um, such a directory so as you can see here i created this tier one and i moved to tier one okay as you can see this is one liner imagine what you have to do if you use the graphical user interface you would have to go and use the right click and then create new directory then go to that directory by double clicking it so with this one liner that I created and then when I use this function um, this one liner is enough to do that okay so let's see the second function the second function is the function mkdears and what this does is that it takes the, all the positional arguments when the function mkdears is called and all these arguments are transferred as arguments to the mkdear command. So as you probably know mkdear does not accept uh, from the standard input um, arguments and that's the job of xargs to convert uh, this string created with the echo command um, to a set of uh, positional arguments for the mkdir command and let's see what we can do with this one let's say that I would like to create um, a number of uh, new directories uh, okay just a minute let me get out of it so I'm here now as you can see uh, dear one is already created I am in the bus folder right now and let's say that I would like to create um, eight more files uh, with the same pattern right with dear and then two to nine so as you can see here now I have eight more directories um, with the same pattern it's as simple as that and let's now move on to the third function that I would like to show you today um, that's the touch.txt function I find it very useful it's a bit more complicated than the other ones uh, what it does is that it allows you to create a number of files a number of uh, new uh, HTML files uh, that follow a specific pattern within all the directories uh, that exist uh, on a directory that you'll specify uh, let's see what I mean by that so uh, just to remind you we are here we have nine empty directories and let's assume that you would like to uh, populate all these um, empty directories with empty newly created HTML files. So here let's say that I would like to uh, populate within 
the current working directory within all the directories that live here that are uh, in, in the bash folder um, that I would like to create six files that follow the pattern uh, that you just saw okay like new and then you would have new one new two new th new three let's see how it will function okay it's done um, let's go to the first directory dear one uh, as you can see here I created six more files and the same applies to all the other ones let's let's go to some uh, to another uh, directory for instance the dear 5 directory and as you can see you did that very easily just imagine what you would have to do if you had to use a graphical user interface to create so many files more specifically I created uh, 60 files 60 files with a uh, one-liner just imagine the power that the uh, bash shell can give you I find this power that the bash shell gives us very exciting and if you share the same excitement with me just make sure you give me some feedback and I will prepare some more coding sessions in the future such as the one that you just watched that's it for now